What's up everybody, Peter Valley here, and in this video, we are gonna finally settle the score on how to fix these dreaded high pricing errors that seem to afflict every FBA seller at some point, and I, actually pretty often for most of us, okay? So we're gonna go to war on Amazon. I don't know why I chose a military uh, theme for this one. I think I'm feeling feisty, but how do, we're gonna go, go to war on Amazon to protect your inventory because what Amazon is doing with these high pricing errors is frankly unjust. I'm gonna talk about two ways to fix these and the second one I've never heard anyone else talk about before. So you're getting some awesome inside scoop here. Okay, so we're gonna talk about in this video. What are high pricing errors? If you don't know already, solution number one and solution number two. And number two is the one I've never heard anyone else talk about ever, and it's highly, highly effective. It allows you to resolve them all in one swoop. So very briefly, mercifully briefly, who am I? I'm Peter Valley. I pioneered the concept of online book arbitrage, which has nothing to do with this video. I'm the world's most published author on Amazon selling. I don't know how that happened. It was an accident. I do the site fbamastery.com, and as a fun fact, the first time I ever attempted to source books to resell was in a thrift store who was throwing out books in their dumpster. So I crawled in the dumpster <laughs> and the employees caught me, slammed the lid shut, locked me inside and called the police. And yes, that is a true story. Okay, you can read that on fbamastery.com. So what are these high price alerts or high price errors as they're also known? Okay, so here's the deal. You list a book for sale, right? You're an FBA seller. You list a book for sale and you're just waiting for a sale to happen. And before a sale happens, you find that your offer gets delisted. Either you get an email from Amazon or you just notice that your inventory has been delisted. And so Amazon tells, hey, you gotta fix this price, it's too high, which is weird because you should be able to price your stuff however you want. So you go and edit the prices, you wait again, and they get delisted again. You end up in this endless cycle where you just don't know what to do and you can't get your inventory live again. Most of us have dealt with this. Again, if you're an FBA seller and you have not, your time will come, okay? It's just a matter of time. So um, the way you find out that this happened, you usually get an email like this, and it says, hey, it's an email from Amazon, and the subject line is listings deactivated for potential pricing error, and it says, hey, we have detected potential pricing errors in your Amazon product listings. We have deactivated the listings mentioned at the bottom of this message to prevent, this is so creepy, you guys, prevent any negative customer experience. It's like, what business is it of Amazon's how you choose to price your inventory? It's crazy, right? Or, so if you don't notice the email, you might just simply notice that your stranded inventory page blows up and there's this little, you know, this ominous high pricing error message below every single listing, okay? That's how you find out. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so the problem is that you click the button to reactivate the listing because Amazon says, hey, okay, if you want to reactivate it, just click. I think it's read list is what the button says. So you go ahead and click that button, you think everything's gonna be good, but guess what happens? It's good for about two minutes, and then your inventory gets, that offer gets deactivated again. And it may take a couple minutes, it may take hours, it may take days, but you'll usually get another email saying that your listings have been deactivated yet again. Even though you did exactly what Amazon told you to do, was to simply go to the page and confirm that yes, the price you listed the item at is what you intended to sell the item for. That should be all it takes. And these 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 errors shouldn't even come up at all. I'll give in a theory a second here, I'll give you my theory as to why these happen. So you just go, okay, well, maybe there was some mistake, maybe you did something wrong. So you go back to that page and you go the, the fix your price and errors page and you click relist again and then they get deactivated again. And this is where most people give up. Maybe you might try it a third time, but most people give up at that point and Amazon simply wins and you never get your inventory back to life. It is extremely frustrated and confusing because there's no clear explanation, there's no clear solution to how to resolve these. You do what Amazon tells you to do and then they deactivate the listings over and over and over again. Okay, so and I'm gonna tell you exactly in this video how to fix these. So why does this happen? Well, first of all, I want you to know you are not doing anything wrong. Okay, especially if you're a newer seller, you're not you're not familiar with these. You're likely to think that you somehow you somehow you know uh, committed some some violation of Amazon policy that you didn't know about. You are allowed to list your inventory for whatever price you want. Okay, so you didn't do anything wrong. That's number one. What's happening here is that Amazon has this insane algorithm, and I think it's kind of sinister, and I'm going to get to that in a second. That detects that your price may be mistakenly high or high to a degree that it's going to give the customer a negative experience, which is so, again, it's such a creepy way to phrase it. Amazon, the way Amazon phrases it like that, and they deactivate the listing, and then Amazon simply prompts you in the email to go and fix your error on the fixed price alerts page, and again, you do that and it gets deactivated again, and you just end up giving up. That's how most of us deal with these, and it's very, very frustrating. So it's not your fault. 
ostensibly what Amazon is doing is they're trying to protect the customer from price gouging. That's what they say. I think they have their own agenda. I'll get to that briefly. Um, but or they're trying to, they they also claim they're trying to protect you from some mistake you may have made, even though you know, I don't know. Uh, it's none of their business. But anyway, they're trying to protect you or the customer or both, ostensibly. So they, they want you to they didn't tell you to go back and okay, price, reprice your item competitively. It's honestly really creepy and kind of like big brotherish. Like, why does Amazon why is Amazon policing how we're pricing our inventory? It's it it never ceases to just blow my mind. So anyway. Why is Amazon telling us how to price the products that we sell? How could Amazon possibly know how much we paid for these products and how much margins we need to see? It's none of their business. It's very, very frustrating. So here's my theory. Amazon is nudging you to, to again, correct your, quote, pricing error to sort of further its own agenda. And the agenda that Amazon has is to be the low price option that undercuts every other retailer on earth. So as an FBA seller, Obviously, we're pricing our items higher than merch will fill, right? Because we want to enjoy. It's one of the one of the the huge. The, honestly, the primary benefit of being an FBA seller is we can price higher, right? Well, Amazon has a different agenda. They want everything to be low priced because that's how Amazon stays competitive. Even though obviously they'll make less on commissions in the short term, in the long term, it's how they grow as a company. It's by having everything be cheaper than brick and mortar, right? So your aggressive pricing practices are not in harmony with that agenda, right? So what they do is they bring down their hammer and they can't just come and say, hey, we're, tr- we, we're, tr- we're gonna force you to further our agenda and underprice you know, Walmart. They can't do that, right? It's probably illegal, honestly, if they did that. So what they do is they bring down the hammer in a different way in the form of a deceptively named, quote, high pricing error. Again, I'll say it for the third time, very, very creepy language they're using. So my theory is that under the pretext of, you know, quote, preventing price gouging or protecting you from your mistakes, they actually shut down your listings and make them very, very difficult to undo. And it's all very deliberate on their part because they can't just come out and say what their agenda actually is. Amazon is not doing this to protect you. Let's get this out of the way. They're not doing this to protect the customer. They're doing this to protect themselves. And they want to keep prices low and frankly circumvent some laws. I don't want to put on my lawyer hat because I'm not a lawyer. But it seems like the way they're going about this is they want to circumvent price fixing laws by instead disguising what really is price fixing by calling it a high pricing error. Okay, so that's my conspiracy theory here. And by the way, on that point, if there's any lawyers watching this, I'm very serious about this. I want you to email me because I'm very, very curious. I, as a layperson, not a lawyer, I have a legal question. I'd be very interested to know how these quote high pricing errors are anything other than actual price fixing. Because by all appearances from where I stand, what Amazon is doing appears to be cut and dry price fixing. If you just Google price fixing, it, what Amazon is doing is exactly that. So I'm really, really curious if any lawyers want to weigh in on this and actually actually verify if you're qualified to do so, if this is actually price fixing. Is Amazon just flaunting the law here? I'm, I don't know. I'm curious. But that's a side note here. Okay, so here's what Amazon tells you to do to fix these before we get to how to fix them. This is what they tell you to do, which actually doesn't work, which furthers my conspiracy theory <laughs> that Amazon just is trying to obscure how to fix these by making it so difficult that we just give up. Okay, so here, here's what Amazon tells you to do. They tell you to go to their fix price alerts page, which is in the pricing tab in Seller Central, and then in the drop down menu, you go to fix price alerts. And then they tell you, they just go to that page and click reactivate, which you see right there on the screen. Guess what? That doesn't work. That almost never works the first time. Amazon is very annoying. In fact, I would argue in this particular context, they're actually kind of sinister, okay? So now let's get into how to actually fix these, fix these because again, what's gonna happen is it's just not gonna work and you might try it a second time and it still won't work and then you'll give up, right? So solution number one, now this is a solution that you will read about on quite a number of places. So the, the second one I'm gonna give you is new as far as I know. I've never heard anyone else talk about it. This is the one you always hear people talk about but unfortunately, what gets lost in the conversation is most places that tell you how to do this don't tell you how to do it right. And so I'm going to tell you how to do it right, okay? So again, if you go to like YouTube and you um, look for videos on how to fix high pricing errors, you'll, you'll see a bunch of negative comments. And people go, I tried this and it doesn't work. And actually, you're prob- I'm probably going to get that comment on this video too. People go, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Now, the thing is, it, what I'm about to explain, the solution actually does work. It's just that people aren't persistent enough. It's very counterintuitive, but you've got to do what I'm about to explain to you. You've got to go through these steps sometimes two, three, four, five, sometimes six times before it'll actually work. 
It's very, very weird, but persistence is key here, okay? So here's the solution in five steps. You go to the pricing tab, okay? Then you click on fix pricing alerts. So you're on the page to fix the alerts. There will be a column for a minimum and maximum price. And what this is, your Amazon is asking you to say, hey, um, I want we want you, the seller, to tell us, Amazon, what's the lowest you'll accept for this under any circumstance and the highest. I know this sounds weird, but this is what they're asking, right? So basically you can just set any two numbers, it doesn't matter. Set an absurdly high number and an absurdly low number, okay? And then what I want you to do, so once you set those two columns, then what I want you to do is to edit the existing price, the price you have set currently, slightly different. So maybe just drop it by a penny or two, okay? Then click reactivate. You must do all three of these things. Set a minimum, set a maximum, and edit the existing price. This is actually a lot of the solutions you'll see online miss step four here, okay? Then you click reactivate. So what you're doing is you're sort of resetting the system. You're sort of resetting, like Amazon has to go and then reassess the listing because you've changed every bit of data so it's like sort of fresh, right? That's what you have to do. However, we're not done yet and this is where most other solutions you read about online where they, this is the part they leave out. You often have to do this three, four, five, six times. I know it makes no sense, right? Just trust me on this. This, this is how it works. I'll, I'll show you a screenshot here in a second from somebody that went through this. So you go to the price tab again. You fix, you click fix price alerts again. You adjust the minimum maximum price again. You change them, even if it's just a penny. Then you change your existing price again, and then you click reactivate, okay? And guess what? You may still get another high pricing error email where they deactivated your listing again, and then you go back again. Persistence is what is key here, okay? And then you simply repeat the process until Amazon, frankly, just gives in. That's what you have to do. Very, very important. So again, you'll hear a lot of people say this doesn't work. Um, this is a screenshot from my private Facebook group well, for an arbitrage members. And this person said, hey, I ran into similar issues a month ago. I kept setting the price and waiting, then resetting the price and waiting over and over, sometimes twice and four times, he says. And then finally, they started to fall into place one by one. So he says, keep at it is all I can say. And so this is the best advice is just keep at it. You're gonna give up. Most people give up and that's what Amazon wants, okay? So, and by the way, I know it's counterintuitive. You know, they say the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. That's actually what you're doing. You actually have to keep doing the same thing and expect different results and those different results will come, okay? So now, solution number two to high pricing errors is one I've never heard talked about anywhere else before. It's a little weird, but it does work. It, this is actually more efficient if you've got a large inventory, and it's probably less efficient if your inventory is smaller, but it will work and allows you to, to fix all of the high pricing errors in one swoop, okay? This is kind of weird. It's less efficient if your inventory is smaller, but it's more direct. So this is it, you ready? In the fixed price alerts page, I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom. In the lower left-hand corner, as of the time I'm recording this, Amazon changes their layout a lot. Click get support. On the next page, there will be a giant box that says, there'll be a bunch of options. You wanna select the box that says, determine why a listing is not displaying, okay? I'll show you a screenshot here in a second. And then you have to enter an ASIN, just pick one randomly from the page, and then select the phone option. And so what that does, that tells Amazon, hey, we need to, you need to give me a call. So somebody from Amazon will call you in the next few minutes, ideally, and once they're on the phone, they already know what you already know you're trying to determine why listing is not displaying, right? They already have an ASIN. Get them on a the phone, you say, listen, I have tried over and over again to correct these errors. It's not working. You tell the seller central person, listen, I am telling you right now that the price I have set is the intended price. That's the correct price. It is not an error. And they actually have they don't advertise this. They actually have the power to fix them on the spot for you. So what matters, yes, they can actually go through and fix every high price and error on the spot. While they're on the phone with you, they can do this. Most people do not know that Seller Central is actually empowered to fix high pricing errors, okay? Now, oftentimes you'll hear, I've heard talked to several people who've done that, gone through this, that, that oftentimes the seller, the support person they get on the phone won't do, they'll tell you they can't do that, but it's actually because they don't want to. They actually can do it, they just don't want to, okay? So you just got the wrong person. So you wanna actually ask them to get transferred to somebody or somebody else, or you just wanna hang up and have someone call you back, uh, a separate person. But they do have the ability to fix these on the phone, okay? So 
um, that's huge, right? Because you can have them go through and rather than, you know, just like like edit your 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 prices over and over get three four five six times which is prohibitively impossible if you have hundreds of listings right you can have amazon do it in one swoop simply by getting someone on the phone and that's the secret is that almost nobody knows that amazon seller central support people can actually do this for you live on the phone so you guys that's it i just solved what is probably your most annoying problem as an amazon seller at least it's one of my most annoying problems and these two solutions do work it's just that most people either don't know about the second one or aren't persistent enough with the first one, okay? So um, hopefully you got lots of value out of this. Now that we've learned how to solve, we've solved those, the, the pie pricing errors for you, you've got a three-part mission. Are you guys ready? Number one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get more videos like this. I've got tons and tons of more videos coming up. Number two, head to fbamastery.com if you haven't already. Get There's a link below this video. Get all my free stuff. I have free books, free eBooks, free reports. Ton, probably by the time you watch this, I'll have tons of more free information. Totally free, no strings whatsoever. FBAMastery.com. Mission number three is to take what you learn in this video and go make money with it. And make money by way of actually getting sales. That's what we're here for, right? You didn't watch this video for entertainment. You watched this to solve a problem that will make you money. Now, if you, I'm assuming if you made it this far, you either have current high pricing errors or you've dealt with them in the past and you know they're gonna happen again. N just take what you learned in this video, get your offers back up and live on Amazon as fast as possible, and that will allow you to make money with this. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Click the links below. Get my free stuff, and I'll see you over at FAMastery.com.